In the following scene, a man called Griffin is seen going somewhere which later on he spots his dead son's bracelet on a guy's hand. He finds himself in his lab which turns out to be where he leaves, but not long from then, a lady comes into the scene. Conversations begin and she states that she is a scientist who have come to help him. Griffin introduces himself as a theoretical physicist and let her know that he is not interested in her personal life, but she in a tricky manner introduces herself. After that, he uses a simple example that is, glass and water to demonstrate to her some interesting facts about invisibility, tells her he has derived some good facts about it and that he will like to show it to her. He cuts part of her hair to use as an example. After he does some science magic, the hair becomes invisible, she is amazed, but at the same time mad that he cut her hair. She is amazed at the observation, she almost takes some note about what she see but he immediately refuse. As a result, she leaves the building. The next morning, he is trying to catch a dog he had tried the sample on. It wasn't easy to do so since the dog is invisible. He almost grabbed the dog, but it leaves his hand at the wrong moment, get hit by a car and dies at the spot. He gets sad. Goes outside to have a seat. The lady comes back and apologizes to him for her actions. After she agrees to keep their work a secret, they both get along again and return to the lab and work on balancing the effects of the substance that causes invisibility. They give it to a dog for testing. It's the next day. He spots a suspicious guy and then takes note of the time. At night, she returns with a surprise for him saying they need to celebrate, it turns out the dog they made invisible had been made visible again which means they have made a success. He says there's no need to celebrate since they haven't tried on a human yet which is their ultimate goal. At last, he decided to go out with her. When he returns, he grabs a box under his bed which turns out to be where he keeps his late son's pictures. Sighting of the picture after a long time reminds him of his past life of he and his family living a happy life until one day, an evil man comes into their house and kill their son. He started crying as the science lady comes around again. He tries to act okay as tears keeps getting down but feels better. They both kiss, then she remembers that that her boyfriend is supposed to propose to her tonight. She lets him know thinking he'll show signs of feeling bad, but he doesn't. He feels bad but keeps it in him. She must be gone by now. He, out of anger, consumes the substance that causes transparency. She arrives at where she and her boyfriend was to meet up at. Trying to give him an excuse of how she was busy but he doesn't seem to understand. He lets her know that he knows she is not in love with him. She almost let him know it's true when she slaps her. Out of anger, she slaps him back tells him it is over and then rush back to Griffin. She looks for him but can't find him. At the right moment he wakes up. It seems the transparency medication has transformed him into something else. He tells her he has consumed the medication out of anger and then she gives him the sedative. She lets him know that she refused her boyfriend's proposal to marry her but doesn't tell him her boyfriend slapped her. She put him on his bed, goes to a corner of the house and start crying due to being sorry for him. The next morning, she wakes up to find out it worked. She slowly copes with him due to him being invisible, he needed something to wear in order to be partially visible. As from now, they work in the lab as one visible and the other not. Their main study now is to look for a way for him to become visible again. They both head out to go seek information about who killed his son. He tells her to go talk to her ex-boyfriend, as that's part of the plan. She needs to do that in order for him to gain access to an office. He goes into the house of the guy that killed his son and doesn't only find out more about his son's dead, but also finds out that the guy is a child killer. He tells her that he has find out that he has a disorder and that due to it, he will soon lose his mind, lost part of his memory and as a result, he tells her to leave since losing his mind means he might hurt her but she refused to. She notifies him that she has fallen in love with him. At the lab, she asks him about how it feels to be invisible. Wanna know what his answer is? Then please hit that subscribe button as I tell you. Imagine looking at the most beautiful lady of your life and knowing she won't be staring at you back, looking at her from any angle you want without fear, that's what he was talking about. Fun?
Well let me know in the comments section below. The next day, he knocks the door of a guy who kills children, enters into the house and saves a child who would have almost been killed by the guy. She then come to the lab to meet him who has returned from saving the boy. He asks if she had tell her ex about his present condition and findings which she says yes. It turns out her ex is the guy who can make his findings popular. After that, Griffin returns to a guy who turns out to be the guy that killed his son. After the guy opens his door, Griffin gets inside the guy's house and start to torture him and asks him what and how he felt when he was killing his son. After some time, Griffin clapped him with a knife. He returns home feeling very abnormal. It seems the effects of the transparency medication has started acting on him. He is supposed to meet up with the guy who is to make his work popular tonight but the guy doesn't come until the next day. Griffin wants to offer him some tea but he refuses. He thinks Griffin is kidding with him about the transparency until evidence is being provided to him. At this point, the guy says he had reviewed Griffin's work but can't make it popular because his intentions are not visible. Griffin out of anger throws him out of the building. As he goes out, he meets the lady who turns out to be his ex and tells her that in 24 hours, if Griffin doesn't turn visible again, he is calling the cops. She goes into the house to meet Griffin, sitting at the stairs. He seems to be in a terrible condition. After some conversation about what he'll do if he doesn't get visible again, they find out a great idea about using her blood to make him visible again. When they went to the lab, he loses his mind, remembers something that never happened, and as a result, slapped her leading to her passing out. When she did, he used her phone to text her ex-boyfriend, asking him to come to the lab and that she loves him. Griffin comes back to his senses and is about to take her to the hospital due to the injuries he had inflicted on her but unfortunately, her ex-boyfriend shows up in the building again. This upsets Griffin's mind again and hence, he starts hurting him. Things become so bad as he chases her around. The side effects of the transparency medication are acting wild on him. She picks up a knife and goes towards him with it. It is unclear whether she wants to stab him with it or not. As she tries to comfort him, he turns around and slap her again. She passes out due to that, wakes up tied beside her ex-boyfriend. This ex-boyfriend is just an imagination created by his side effects. Due to this, he stabs himself indirectly thinking he is stabbing the guy. At the end, he becomes visible again. After seeing hallucinations of his son, he sadly passes out. Thanks for watching till the end. Please don't forget to subscribe.